Here we are at 103, heading on in. And it just really kind of needs some TLC. You've got a little bit of painting that needs to be done. You might be able to see on there, power washing. We've got just the front entry here and the door needs painting, just freshening up. You have kind of a slate looking tile as a foyer entryway. And then you have your separation immediately to the dining area. This was a rental. So you got some odd furniture laying around here and the floors have not been cleaned. I mean, it would look so much better. You can kind of see little lines in there where there's carpet that probably had stuff on it that gummed up the floor. You have formal dining room with the wainscoting. You got the open uh, plantation shutters. Nice uh, chandelier there over the dining room area, a big dining area. Opens into the kitchen. There is an entertainment center here. I don't know if any of this furniture would stay or go. Probably be better to get rid of it all. The kitchen opens to the breakfast area. A pretty good size screened in porch to backyard to woods. And on the right hand side, when we walk in, and here's the front door, you can see the front door needs just some TLC. Looks beaten and weathered not cared for. You can see fingerprints and dirt along the door handle and such. And the carpet going into the office here on the right has a plantation, the lower part plantation shutters, the upper part is open and there's really great vegetation here on the right. The windows may have some fogging, so some of those may need to be replaced. It does have a fireplace in here, a little recessed Eyeball white, no ceiling fan, but that probably could be installed. You have two-tone paint, little desk area, TV area, double doors coming into the office. And then to the side here, all of that is common area. Nobody's gonna go on there, It'd be maintained by the club. And then there's a house under construction on the corner. I don't know if you can see through there, but uh, let's see if I can get to it clear. So there's the front, and fortunately, straight across is also woods and a lot of uh, mature growth here for privacy, then common area, and then you can see some construction through the woods there. And now let's go back into the living room. Sorry for all the bounciness. You got crown molding around the around the whole house virtually, except in the uh, kitchen and breakfast area. So in the living area and the dining room and in the office, you do have that crown molding. You've got a floor plug here for your, your lighting where your sofa would be. So it's a good size, very wide. You've got granite countertops. Double sink, it looks like a 60-40, maybe 70-30 with a disposal. The appliances, it's a cooktop. I mean, these cabinets were nice at one time, but they're not the most expensive cabinets. It's a Toll Brothers kind of base model that was probably sold originally in 05 for around 350, okay? And now it's a, this home, to be replacing it would be around 650 with Toll Brothers, but it'd have everything brand new, of course, and nicer cabinets and everything else. This cooktop, I don't know where that's coming from, has a vent down, so it's like a Gen Air or something, and it has a light underneath the here. The microwave is over the oven, and you have a relatively newer um, dishwasher. That probably leaked the original one because the floors in the kitchen are, they, they, obviously they've been, uh, there's been a little bit of flooding. I think the agent said there was a leak in the sink. So that may have been the problem. Yep, now you can see a big bucket they have down there. No water in there now because it's probably all off. They took off the uh, garbage disposal. That may have been the problem too. 
with a renter in here. And this place is just cosmetically beat, but it's solid oak floors and they were hand placed. So it's not the engineered oak floors. I think, I think it's really the solid oak floors. Okay, then this is the primary bedroom over here to the left. I mean, the back right corner of the home. The carpet is completely a shambles. The walls need painting, but they're not broken. Uh, crown molding in here, ceiling fan needs to be replaced. We have eight foot doors everywhere and 10 foot ceilings, so that's nice. Here's the primary bath, has your base tile. 12 inch tile, cultured marble countertop with big mirrors and the same type of cabinets there. They probably were pretty at first. They look a little bit cheap now. You have a walk-in shower over here that's cultured marble, easy to take care of with a little squeegee and then you have a, a tub, kind of a rectangular but kind of short rectangular tub. And then you have your plantation shutters above there for privacy. And you hit the water closet here. It has, has the oil rub bronze handle. So these uh, plumbing fixtures probably were changed. And probably, I'd be kind of shocked that they're, uh, they're in the stainless steel look when all those door handles and the hinges are all oil rub bronze. So that's a mixture. Then you've got your toilet. The bathroom here seems pretty good. I don't know what this stuff hanging down is. It's to catch flies, I guess. So they must have some flies around here now. So maybe some access to, uh, for wasps to get in here or something. I think I saw a wasp flying in there. There's your wiring box for the, probably for the uh, internet. But a good spacious size bathroom. And nice, it's okay. Uh, I would think the countertops should be all changed and the cabinets too. But the floors just need to be cleaned and then the carpet changed and probably retile that uh, shower to make it look nicer. And of course these carpets and paint everywhere, ceiling fans to be changed. All the doors need to be painted and touched up because they all are dirty and have just haven't been taken care of and cleaned properly. Okay, so here's the pan of the uh, great room area. The front door kind of walks right into the home. Very typical of the Toll Brothers models. Still nicely appointed. And this is the big screen porch. And then you have a patio with paver bricks around the concrete back there. They've, I guess the renter had just left this stuff. Uh, backyard's not been maintained. The two daughters who inherited this home pretty much are just ready to get rid of it. It's in pre foreclosure, so something hadn't been paid. They just wanted to get done. It's got to be purchased before October 1st. But you have privacy to the house on the left, which is one that's really tight to this. And that property back there is about a six acre lot in the neighbors, uh, neighboring community called Rose Dew. So they've cleared that. They could eventually build a one home back there, that's it. And it'd probably be in the center. So they'd have a huge backyard. That shouldn't be a problem. And all this space over here on the left is the common area. Okay, so that gives a nice buffer on this side. And we'll do a quick walk over here and show you the, how tight this is to the neighbors. And then we'll head back in. They designed it so that you wouldn't really have to participate much with the neighbors over here. The vegetation is 
pretty strong service yards over here. Okay.